travel is useless. <laughs>
know it, guys. Got that quesadilla. Mm-mm. Super delicious. Got that quesadilla. Got that fuel for the truck. $40 to fill her up. When I say fill her up, I mean she was only like halfway, so it took $40 to put another half a tank in there. Oh yeah, guys. If you've never been to a Wawa, you don't have one in your state, whenever you visit a state that does have a Wawa, yeah, drop by. They got like the best gas station food out there, straight up. I know what you're thinking, Austin, why the heck did you drive one hour and five minutes to pick up a dumpster, let alone drop it off in the first place? Well guys, I always look to the future with my business. So this is gonna be a future company that is spread out all over Florida. And so right now, if I have to come from afar to take care of the customers that wanna use me, I'm gonna do that. Because in the future, they're gonna be return customers. I'm gonna make a lot more money because we're gonna have a uh, another let it go junk remover another let it go junk removal business site on this side with somebody running a truck from over here and managing uh, this part so that's the overall goal and that is why I will always be willing to drop off a dumpster or do a job that is about an hour out from my actual location any further than that we'll have to wait till we expand and then the person that is an hour away from me taking care of these jobs now can go an hour out from that to do a job to spread even further. Alright, now we have to throw a rope over the front of this tarp to keep it down because we still haven't got it fixed yet. If you're following me on YouTube, also follow me on TikTok, you can follow me on Instagram, and you can follow me on Facebook. You can message me anytime. I do my best to get back personally, um, but most of the time you'll be uh, answering to my wife and she'll let me know that somebody messaged me and when I get time I'll get back to you. Making sure is success, guys. So making sure stuff doesn't fly out the back by bungeeing it down that is success making sure that you're gonna get customers by putting ads up on Facebook that is success making sure that your trucks are gonna stay running and on the road by doing regular maintenance that is success and uh, recently you can see that you do have bad luck sometimes even though I keep up with my trucks and regular maintenance regularly maintenance them these trucks all broke down all at once so there's another thing that uh, another thing that goes with success is saving your money making sure you save your money to make sure that you succeed you have that money to fix your trucks and um, <clears throat> you could call it the oh shit fund <laughs> you could call it the uh, the emergency fund you can you can call it the truck broke down fund 
You can call it the uh, business, uh, no touchable, you can call it the untouchable fund. So you can name this fund whatever you want, but it's extra money. Everybody should have extra money. No matter how much uh, money you make, you can always put a percentage away, whether it's a dollar, two dollars, two percent, ten percent, twenty percent, twenty five percent. Um, that's getting up there, but uh, some people can do it. So that's uh, that's another tip for you guys. Just um, remember that making sure in life is success. So if you have a second guess about something, if you're not sure, then get sure because then you're sure to succeed. So that's like the best thing I can give you. Um, the best um, the best knowledge that that I've learned and I go by is definitely making sure and uh, Yeah, yeah that conversation just started with him making sure that we're tarped down so nothing can fly out while we're on the highway uh, So yeah out here on Tomoka landfill look over there guys look at all those birds just Flocking around over there crazy that's where they dump all the food at. Over here where we're going is where they dump all the tree debris and also they dump all the demo, all the wood and construction debris and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, all the household stuff, mattresses and um, couches, all that good stuff. Fixing to dump this out, head to our next job, guys. All right, fellow earthlings, we're here at the dump. It's a mocha landfill. First, we have to get these bungees off of the tarp. And then we have to take our tarp off of the load. Yep. So that's a little bit of work right there in itself. Jump up here and take that off the tarp. Run over here to this side. Because, see our tarp, if it goes up, it actually hits that right there. So uh, right, we have to get that problem fixed. But every time we... Uh, have uh, two people here. We just pull over this way while he tarps it up. I'll show you here in a second. All right, go ahead. All right. Hold on. Stop. 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 Go down. All right. Go. It was stuck on that side. A little pin out. Swivel up. Handle twist. And then we come back here and that little hole right there. We take this bar shove it in that hole. Uh, he built this truck for us out of an old ambulance paramedics truck. Uh, so yeah, this used to have one of those big old boxes on it. It even stows the horns and the, the whales, which are like the ambulance noise. Woo, woo, that's the whales. Texas Pride dumpsters. Yeah, it looks good. Everything's empty. Look how smooth everything works. We like to stop it right about there because it goes down so fast from the inside. And then I'll come back on the, on the outside like he just did, and, uh, and and move the handle nice and slow. I think this this I think this second dump fee is going to be uh, probably around I don't know. I'm gonna say like 45 bucks. You said 40? 40. 40. I say 45. He says 40. Let's see. Uh, see who gets it right. All right. So Manny says it was 41.44. So the winner's Manny. Yeah. Right, fellow Worthlings. So it looks like we might have a problem at this first junk removal, guys. This Waste Pro dumpster has been here since last week. Richard and Manny came and filled this whole dumpster for them, and it's still sitting there full of the trash that we put in it. So we need to go down here and figure out what's going on. That's where we need to be able to park our truck to load all of this junk into there. Let's take a look and see what we got. So yeah, this is all the junk we have here. And it would be a lot easier to just take it from here and go right up that ramp and throw it in the dumpster. To go around it, but not, a, not a, all that stuff? All this is new? Okay. Yeah, so let's, we're gonna go find the boss man and figure out what's going on here because if we can reschedule it for Monday, bro, because that dumpster's in our way. So that's what we're gonna to try to do is reschedule this thing for, for Monday because it's really, uh, that's gonna be a difficult job. I'd rather just reschedule and uh, make sure it's easy for us. All right, so this is the junk that we have to remove so far over there, guys. 
Um, and then back here in these rooms, I believe that there's more junk. That's probably all that stuff. Okay, so Manny thinks that they took all the junk from these back rooms and put it up front. It looked like, yeah, because those air vents were the ones up there, weren't they? Oh, yeah. And guys, we gave a quote on removing these air ducts from this whole um, hotel. These air ducts are huge. Yeah, there was shit on the floor, so they, they took all this stuff out. Um, but those, those air ducts right there, you go stand in front of it, Manny. Show them how big it is. Yeah, so this is how big these air ducts are, guys. And uh, we're, they go throughout the whole bottom of the hotel. And we gave a quote to remove them. Um, it was about $10,000 to remove all of them. And oh, I almost dropped you guys on the ground. So that was a good catch. Um, yeah, so we're gonna give a quote to remove all of that, plus the, uh, the AC like motors and everything, the actual, actual blowers. Um, Cause those are actually pretty heavy, the motors. Let's see if we can find some. Hey Renee, this is Austin. How you doing? Good morning. Hey, uh, so we're actually here at the uh, at the hotel. You see? Are you here? No. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, we're here, and uh, the, obviously this big dumpster is still here, and it's kind of in the way. Is it okay if we yeah. just reschedule for uh, Monday? If will they have it picked up by then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what we'll do. Well, if that's okay with you, we'll just come back on Monday. Hopefully they'll have it picked up by then. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Okay. And, and I'll just give a call to you before we head out just to make sure of everything. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right. they, no, that's okay. They promised to get it, but I just All right. No problem, Renee. I hope you had a, a fantastic Christmas, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, man. Okay. Did you look down the drive? Yeah, yeah, you guys put everything in one spot, so it looks good. Uh, yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like uh, maybe a load or two. All right. Yes, sir, well, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. All right, guys, you heard it. We're going to go ahead and reschedule it for Monday because they need to get this dumpster out of here. Um, no, no, no reason to work extra hard if you don't have to. Let's get this bungee. Is yeah, it stuck? Wait, That's the one I was looking for at the dump. Oh. <laughs> That's why we couldn't find it. That's funny. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, guys, this is on the beach. Literally, the beach is right there. That's the beach, guys. Look at the ocean. Actually, you can see the sky. But <laughs> the ocean is, is over there, down, down there. <laughs> All right, guys, so yeah, we rescheduled that job. Sometimes you have to do that in, in this industry. Um, if you're just starting out your junk removal business, guys, just if you can reschedule the job and you're still gonna make that money um, to make it easy on yourself, it's, it's a good thing to do. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, go on to the next job, get that done for the day, and uh, let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so me and Manny just finished up our second junk removal. The first one, as you know, we rescheduled. And uh, the second one, we it was like a, a little less than a half load. We charged 200 bucks because the gentleman had a $200 uh, limit that he could spend. So he said, yeah, we'll take this much for 200 bucks. And uh, he agreed. So bada bing, bada boom. We're headed back to the office now. It's been a good day. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. That was a good day. And now I'm going to make it a good day for one of you. This person right here is the winner of the Snoopy Piggy Bank I was giving away in a couple videos back. I hope there's something good in it for you, man. I'm going to hit you up and figure out how I can send this to you in the mail. We'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.